The other day I was in a Burlington and I saw a Martha Stewart pan for eight bucks. It's a ceramic aluminum nonstick pan, eight inches in diameter. Now it reminded me of a caraway pan I was looking at the other day, so I picked that one up. This one is also a ceramic aluminum nonstick pan, but this was $90. Could there be that much of a difference between an $8 pan and a $90 pan? Let's find out in today's video, starting with the unboxing. Here it is, the Martha Stewart Everyday Pan. Now I'd got no uh, packaging for it. It's funny, they put a sticker inside the nonstick surface. Now inside there's some microscopic instructions. I might need a microscope for those. It, it is a nice looking pan though. It is very nice. And as you can see from the tag in the back, I paid a whopping eight bucks for this. Not a bad deal, it seems, unless it doesn't work well. Now let's move up to the big leagues here. This is the expensive caraway. 90 bucks I paid for this. I think, I think the packaging alone is probably worth a, a more than I paid for this Martha Stewart pan. Okay, there, there's the pan itself. Now the, the surface, there is, a, there is a difference in the surfaces, but I'll get to that a little bit later. It, it definitely feels heavier. I'll have to weigh these two. They included a caraway clean eraser. That's kind of a nice touch. Now the two pans share a lot in common. Both are nonstick ceramic aluminum eight inch fry pans. Both of them say they have non-toxic coatings. Both of them say they can be used on any cooktop. Uh, the caraway is supposedly oven safe to 550 degrees. Martha Stewart only up to 350. Uh, the caraway does feel heavier and the two handles are different. I'm gonna read over any literature I've got with these, wash these off and then tomorrow we're gonna get started. So the Martha Stewart doesn't really have any instructions to, to note. The caraway does though, but it's, it's pretty standard. It says don't use overly high heat, don't use abrasives, don't use metal utensils. Let it cool down before cleaning. Pretty, pretty standard fare. Now I'm not going to be doing a long-term test, so I have to just kind of stick with my initial observations, but I think I can put it through a ringer enough to see if there is much of a difference. I can already tell you that the caraway does weigh more. Let's weigh these and see how they stack up there. All right, first up, caraway pan. It is one pound, 11 ounces. Martha Stewart now. Oh, just about a pound, so it definitely is a little bit lighter. Now the caraway says there's no need to season, but you should use a little bit of oil for each use. I'm gonna do that for my first round, but for the second round, we're going commando, no oil with some eggs and see how it stacks up. So let's go to two quick rounds of egg tests and see how they go. I think I'm gonna do these one at a time just so I can focus all of my attention on each pan. So we're gonna start with the caraway with my first two egg tests. I'm gonna put it on relatively low heat. Now we can add a little bit of oil. They said to add one to two tablespoons. I added one, that's quite a bit. It seems like too much. We'll let that go 20 seconds, then add our eggs. Now one tablespoon just seems like a lot of oil. So I mean, obviously it's not gonna stick when you get that much oil in there, but we'll see how it cooks this up. A little seasoning in there, cause I'm gonna be eating this. There's the, uh, the evenness of the pan and the egg so far. So uh, what do you guys think? After the flip, it looks, it looks pretty good. Certainly uh, good enough to eat. Let's see what we got here. I think it turned out, it turned out pretty nice. I mean, nothing, nothing spectacular, nothing amazing, but pretty nice. All right, so I'm gonna let this cool off now. I should say that the handle never really got warm. There is an interesting feature on this pan. There's a notch right here that tells you how far you can put your hand up before it gets too hot. So it's kind of a little helper notch for you, which I think is kind of a good idea. The, uh, the Martha Stewart does not have that. Overall, the handle is certainly still cool. Now let's move in the Martha Stewart and see how that goes. We're doing the same thing. We're gonna preheat it for about 20 seconds. Put it on number three, tablespoon of oil. And let that warm up for about 20 seconds and then add our eggs. Now the reason I do this kind of egg is just to check the entire bottom for evenness. But uh, so far it seems to be doing pretty well, but once again, so much oil, I think it's gonna make anything nonstick. Thermal imager looking pretty similar to the uh, to the caraway so far, so nothing uh, out of the ordinary here. Uh, slides around there pretty well as expected. I mean, so far not really much of a difference between these two, but we've got a long way to go. There's the final result, and the handle also did not get warm on this either. So so far both handles are doing pretty well in that respect, but we're going to give it some more rigorous tests later to see how it holds up. All right, I let them both cool. I washed them both off. So now let's put it to a real test here. I've got them on the same size burners. I'm going to put them both on three with no oil and put two eggs in there and see how it goes. Here we go. Lighting both burners, setting them both to three. I'm gonna let it go about 20 seconds and then pour the egg in. All right, let's add some egg and see what happens here. I'm not gonna touch them. I'm just gonna let them sit and see what happens when I try to flip them. Thermal image are showing pretty even on the caraway. It's some kind of an interesting kind of spotty pattern on the Martha Stewart, but that could just be the egg consistency as well. Handle on Martha Stewart, looking pretty cool. Handle on caraway, looking pretty cool. 
see if these release at all. Not much of a release on that one. Not much of a release on that one either. Let's get a spatula here. Looks like the edges are slightly burning on the Martha Stewart, but not too bad. It seems like it's releasing kind of on the edges there. How about the caraway? All right, I'm gonna try to flip both these and see what happens. Here we go. Uh, a little bit, a little bit burnt on the bottom there. I'm gonna have to say the caraway won that round. They both released, but look at the difference in, in e even heating. Both flames are set to the exact same thing. Both burners are the same size, so I think the uh, the caraway wins. Next up, let's try some pancakes. First up with melt butter, and then with, and see how they do. Let's keep moving. I cooled them off, washed them off. The Martha Stewart's taking the front seat for this particular test. This time we're doing pancakes, two rounds. One with no grease, and the second one with a little pat of butter in the bottom. Quarter cup of batter in the Martha Stewart. Quarter cup of batter in the caraway. And we're off. This will be interesting. See if we can get underneath this Martha Stewart here. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. It went right underneath it. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Caraway, same thing. All right. I think they both passed this test quite nicely. Both of them released perfectly and both of them have a nice shade of brown to them. So round one, looking good. I can never really flip pancakes. Someone tell me how to do that. Oh, I did it. I did it. All right, let's uh, put some butter in here and try round two. All right, let's uh, put these back on here. Throw some butter in here and see what happens. Quarter cup, quarter cup. And we're off caraway looking good. Martha's looking good. Now normally I don't put that much butter in there for pancakes, but I kind of wanted to see what happens with the butter kind of burns a little bit once it cools and once it hardens and how the cleanup process goes. So we'll have to see how that works. Time for the flip. All right, looking good. Time for the flip. Looking pretty good. Which one do you guys think looks better? This one seems like it brown a little faster, which in the case of the eggs wasn't good, but in the case of the pancakes, maybe it is. Martha looks a little browner. Caraway looks a little bit more even. I'm kind of seeing some uh, strengths and weaknesses of both of them. Caraway handle is still not warm and lo looking pretty nice. Martha's handle, I would say, is actually feels a little cooler than the caraway. All right, Martha final, caraway final. They both look pretty good. What do you think, Bailey? I think she definitely thinks they look pretty good. I don't know if there's really a clear winner in this one, but they both uh, did a nice job. Let's see how these clean up here. Oh, very easy cleanup, very easy. Not bad caraway. Let's see how Martha cleans up, so to speak. I would say uh, pretty easy, not too bad at all. The next test is kind of fun. We're gonna try a melted cheese test and see how they stick and see how the pans hold up. I've got these preheating. Let's try a cheese test now. Layer of Parmesan, layer of Parmesan. Martha is melting nicely as is caraway. Looks like we're getting some of the outer regions are kind of crisping up and on both of them. So it looks like we, it's pretty even as, across both pans as far as the, uh, the cheese test looks. Of course, we haven't tried to release it yet, but the melting part looks pretty even. Right, I'm gonna turn these off. I'm gonna move these off to another burner here. All right, after letting these cool for a little bit, I will get a, grab a spatula and see how they release. All right, these are set for about five minutes. Let's, let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at Martha lifting right out of there. One big cheese chunk, very nice. Nice job, Martha. Now for the caraway, it better do as well. Oh yeah. Caraway did a nice job as well. So I mean, both of them really are doing pretty well. At this point, I think both of them are doing uh, pretty well. So that's a good thing in, in most respects but it's not good because this one is over 10 times more than this one but let's uh, let's keep going and see what else we can come up with now it's time for some protein let's do some turkey patties and see how they do all right the pans are both preheating with a little bit of oil and i've got a couple turkey patties here let's see what happens and we are off i'll be interested to see how this goes martha stewart in the back caraway in the front all we have to do now is wait Let's just take a peek and see if these are sliding around here very well or not. Caraway, slide with no problem. Martha, slide with no problem. So far, so good. Let's try the, uh, the flip test and see how they look on the other side. Here's the caraway after the flip and the Martha after the flip. What do you guys think looks better? Kind of feeling like the Martha had more contact with the pan than the, than the caraway did. 
That could be the shape of the patty though, so it's hard to really tell after just one use. Let's uh, flip this one more time and see what the other side looks like. Over 165, we're ready to go. We've got Martha on top, Caraway in the bottom. They look pretty similar. They look pretty close. But once these cool off, I'll be really curious how they clean up because there's a lot of uh, residue in the bottom. So let's let that cool off and see what happens in the sink. Oh, pretty good. Not too bad at all. Comes right out. Impressive cleanup from the caraway. Let's try uh, Martha next. Martha's a little bit more stuck. I got this big chunk right here. I have to add some soap to this one. I've also got some discoloration down here on Martha that's uh, not coming out as easily as I would have hoped. I'm going to have to work on this, but it looks like we got some discoloration here, a big chunk that stuck there, so Martha did not do as well in the cleanup process. And finally, it's time for a couple of steaks. All right, before I add the steaks, let me uh, just check the thermal imager one more time. Both pans have been preheated. Both of them are on the same size burner, and they're both set to number five. It looks like the Martha is running around the 430 range, while the Caraway is more in the 370, 380. And both burners are set to five. Nice sizzle. Nice sizzle. And we are off. We got Martha in the front. We got Caraway in the back. What will happen? We shall see. All right, let's check on these and see how they look. Will they release? Martha does release and oh, not too bad. Not bad at all. How about Caraway? Releases nicely. Not bad at all either. Here's what we got after the flip. There is Martha looking pretty good. There's Caraway looking pretty good as well. Let's uh, check the temperature here. Let me see what we got. Martha. Oh, Martha's done. Martha is done. Caraway, not quite done yet. Martha was faster. Martha side one, side two. And we'll let this one rest. This cleanup might be kind of a kind of an issue like the it was with the turkey. Caraway is done. There we go. Side one. Side two. Let this one rest and cut it open. All right, let's cut open the Martha first and see how that looks. Pink-ish on the inside. Uh, not too bad really. Looks pretty even. What do you guys think? Caraway next. Caraway inside. Looks pretty even as well. I think they both did a pretty good job on that. I got some warm soapy water. Final cleaning test. Caraway first. Getting some of this here, which is uh, not good. Let's try Martha next. Right now, both pans are giving me a little bit of issue on the uh, on the rim there. After my final cleanup, here's the two pans. The caraway, after a little bit of soaking, uh, looks pretty good. But of course, the bottom. This is even after scrubbing, so it's not. It's definitely not perfect looking after only a couple of uses. Uh, Martha Stewart has also cleaned up pretty well, but once again, it has even more uh, markings on the back. So neither one of these are gonna look very pretty after a year of use. So we shall see how that goes. So in the end, I'm a little bit on the fence about these two pans. Now, after the turkey test, I thought, well, the Martha Stewart was more difficult to clean up and the caraway wasn't, so that one wins. But then after the steak, they were both kind of difficult to clean up. So is the caraway worth 10 times more than the Martha Stewart? I don't know about that. I do think it's gonna last longer. I do think it's the better of the two pans, but 90 versus $8, that's a pretty big difference. But I'm gonna use both these pans for the next year and I'll let you know how they held up over the long run. But that's all I've got. If you've tried either one of these pans, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.